In order to build an institutional barrel stove sized correctly for your cooking pot, you must first complete this set of calculations. Correctly sizing the internal passageways of the stove is very important. If the passageways are too small, the stove will not burn properly and smoke may back out of the fuel entrance. Too large, and heat will not be effectively transferred to the pot and will escape up the chimney, thereby reducing the fuel efficiency of the stove. A Microsoft Excel file for accurately calculating the dimensions of the stove is available in the media section of Aprovecho's website, www.aprovecho.org. Determine the diameter of the pot under the handles. Measure the circumference of the pot with a measuring tape. The diameter of the pot equals the circumference divided by 3.1416. Determine the area of the combustion chamber. Measure the diameter of the riser tube with a measuring tape. The area of the combustion chamber equals 3.1416 times the diameter of the riser tube divided in half squared. Determine gap A, the inner edge of the riser tube. Circumference at A equals the diameter times 3.1416. Gap A equals the area of the combustion chamber divided by the circumference. Determine gap B just outside of the combustion chamber can. Measure the diameter just outside of the can with a measuring tape. The circumference at B equals diameter times 3.1416. Gap B equals the area of the combustion chamber divided by the circumference at B. Determine gap C below the outside edge of the pot. Recall the pot circumference. Gap C equals area of combustion chamber divided by pot circumference at C. Determine gap D between the outside of the pot and the inside of the skirt. Gap D equals 75% of gap C. Determine the desired outside diameter of the skirt under the rim of the skirt. Measure the thickness of the skirt walls and measure the inside overlap of the rim. Diameter equals the diameter of the pot plus two times gap D plus rim overlap plus skirt thickness. The circumference equals diameter times 3.1416. Determine the length of the skirt. Measure the distance from the bottom of the pot handles to the bottom of the pot. Specify the gap between the barrel surface and the top of the skirt, assuming 4 centimeters. Determine the pocket distance to retain the skirt bottom rim. The length of the skirt equals pot distance minus gap above skirt plus gap C plus two times pocket distance. <laughs>